Hi, it's Lynn from Lynn to See Designs and I thought today I would do the first of my handy hints videos. Stamping Up do a um, three different types of uh, stamps. They do wood mount and I'll come back to those. Um, I've just got a new set. Um, they do clear mount. This is um, a lovely new set from the Occasions catalogue called Nailed It. Um, I think it's rather lovely. Um, and I've got some matching um, framelets to cut these out. They come um, with stickers and you pop them out of the surrounding um, packaging and then peel off and this bit is tacky and will go onto the back of an acrylic block and then you stamp it. That has, sorry, it's cling, I think it's called. Um, I tend to keep the wrapping because I um, then know I've got all the pieces. Um, I have got some sets where I've used these stickies. Um, I've actually put those on, rather than put them on the back of each of the um, stamps, because I find that stops them clinging to the acrylic blocks. Um, I actually have on some occasions put these onto the um, actual um, case and that way you know that you've got everything. Um, but I've started um, keeping them in these just because um, I find it easier. Um, so that is, uh, they're called clear mount. And then the third type, this is Swirly Birds, which is in the annual catalogue um, and has loads and loads. These are polymer stamps. Um, they're great because you can see through them and you can see where you're stamping. Um, but with some of the colours, um, they do discolour slightly. It doesn't affect how they stamp, but you can see that that one has that that one and that one has picked up um, the, the the red it's usually the red or the pink and um, inks that it, it that colors them but it doesn't affect the stamping so that's a quick one but I thought uh, this is a lovely stamp called teeny tiny sentiments and I was lucky enough to um, I filled in a, um, a survey when I came back from Telford the on stage in November and said I would like to participate in a, um, a full week um, journal um, which I did and that, that's actually helped me set some goals and move my business forward and as part of doing the four weeks we got got the chance to order any set we wanted so this is what I ordered and I thought it would be quite handy to show um, you how they come so they come with just the, the wood blocks that are completely clear. These are traditional for those people that have been stamping a long time you'll be familiar with these. Um, they come with uh, a sheet of the um, the sentiments and then um, some stickers to put on the on the back of the block. So let me just do one so um, you can see that is hello baby. So we need to match it up to uh, the blocks now I think I'm right in saying that needs to go on one of those blocks there's three different sizes make sure I get it on the right one otherwise we're going to be um, in trouble there's a little sticky on the back and then there are two gr uh, that is there's the wood block that you can see let me move that out of the way Ooh. oh can you tell I'm not used to videoing um, that is the profile, side profile, so you want one of the flat sides and try and get it straight. Um, stick that down. That looks fairly straight to me, good stuff. And then from the sheet of stickers, peel off Hello Baby. Make sure that you're, you've got it up the right way round. Stick that down on there, and there we go. We've got the first, I'm going to have fun today, um, actually sticking all these on and getting them ready. But I think they're, 
actually it's a, a lovely set um, I'm always struggling to get the right sentiment and this has everything um, and uh, although other stamp sets have some wonderful sentiments I thought this would come in quite handy for those because uh, it's got everything graduation retirement Christmas thinking of you Easter sympathy anniversary the, the whole works. Anyway, that's it for today and I will put a um, demonstration of a card on at the weekend. Happy Wednesday!